right now, baby, I'm a wreck. I'm in your book now, I'm in your back. Oh, you started? <laughs> Hello? So this is 801. This is a continuation of the book we are gonna do next week, we're gonna do later. And um, this is Dan Slott's last Amazing Spider-Man story. Oh. And his 10 year plus run. So, yep. there's a lot of going on. There's, he's, just, he's just him wrapping up a tiny book, his emotional feelings of what Spider-Man means to him. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So the book starts and it says, you know the story. And it's Uncle Ben talking to, talking to Peter like, don't feed let's, him up so good. Let's do this one more time. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Peter B. Parker and uh, cue the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse theme. What does the B in it stand for? Benjamin. Ben. That's actually, oh, because it's Uncle Ben. Yeah. So Peter Parker was named after Uncle Ben. And then Uncle Ben died. Yeah. And, oh. He's, uh, it says, it's a, it's a retelling, it's a quick retelling of Spider-Man's origin. Like, Uncle Ben and Aunt May, he grew up with them. He was, a, he's an outcast, he got bitten by a spider, got powers. Ben he ben. let this robber go, and the robber ended up being who killed his Uncle Ben. Three I weeks can, later... I can't show a gun, because that means you get demonetized. Three weeks later, we jump into the house of, in the, in the office of Kenneth Ken K. Jr. He is... He's a. Uh, he works at, a, at an office. Okay. He works at an office and he gets a call. That's uh, you gotta come here, cause it's we only have a few minutes left. And he's running down the he runs down the street, box a packet of goes to the store and box a packet of cigarettes. He goes he goes to the corner store and there's a guy behind the counter. He has a gun. He says I shouldn't be here. I gotta go. And the guy's like, get behind the, kind of the counter, because I'm not going to repeat myself again. Get behind the counter. He says, I gotta go, I shouldn't be here. I, I'll, I promise I'll be quiet about this. No one will have to know. And, and the guy says, get behind the counter. And Spider-Man jumps in, gets the, rock, gets the guy, and says, Hey! A few weeks before, I was doing this for free. Now you get a special show. I was, doing, I was, I was, getting, get, I was getting paid top bill for, this, for doing this. For doing this show. You're getting this show for free. Well, not really. I'm gonna punch the crap out of you. <laughs> and he said, and Spider-Man jumps around, flips around, and catch the rubber, the robber, and says, "Are you gonna eat him?" And the and the corner store guy's like, "Are you gonna eat him?" I'm like, what? Aren't you a Spider-Man? Aren't you gonna webbing him up to eat him later? <laughs> no, that is horrible. That's what Venom does. Actually, it's yeah, true. he eats crawls, yeah. I think that's probably actually, when, if you think about it, that's probably one of the inspirations for it. That spiders eat people. Yeah. And says, no, just give me a piece of paper. And he writes, for the first time, apparently, this is the first time he's wrote. He's written, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man. Mm. And the police comes in. And he webs it to the guy. And says, and he just leaves. We, we go back to the guy, his, the, the guy whose name I just forgot. Isn't that uh, great? Kenneth? Kenneth. Kenneth. We go back to Kenneth. Kenneth Kincaid. We go, we're gonna call him Kenneth. We go back to Kenneth and he... Kenny boy. He goes to a hospital. Where his father is there. Kenneth Kincaid. His father... Senior. His father is there. He has a few minutes left. And he's crushed about it. Like, I can't believe I got here late. Said, and his wife says, You got here. You're here. That's what matters. And we have a montage of the funeral, and her wife, his wife, giving birth, and then those kids growing up, and it's in the science fair, they're her child science fair, and he, he, she's graduating now. This is like all of Kenneth K Kincaid Jr.'s life, basically. Yeah. You know, yeah. And he's talking to his wife. He's and 40 now? He's 40. He turned 40. 40th birthday. 40th birthday and we and and now it's today this was when Peter Parker was 15 the, the, all this story prior to this was when Peter Parker was 15 and now it's today it's Peter Parker is fighting some robbers and uh, some demons wait, some, de some demons from Martin, Martin Lee's at this point he's like he's 28 
It's not specified. Spider-Man continuity is weird where the timeline is all. Yeah. How old is he? If you ask uh, J. Michael Brzezinski, he's like, oh, he's 31. Because he went to college, he has a major degree in, on English. He's 31 years old. If you ask Joe Quesada, he'll say, he is 27 because he still lives with his Aunt May because that's lame. <laughs> we can't have him be 30. a 30 year old be living with his aunt. That would be lame. So he's 27. If you ask Dan Slott, he'll say he's 28, 29. So it all depends who you ask, technically. But it's somewhere between the it's, yeah, it's 28 to 20, 20, 20, 20 to 30. Yeah. Range. Yeah. And it, one of the demons is, is running away. And someone trips him. Drunk. And he falls. And Peter Parker just webs him up and says, Hey, I saw that. Good, good, good leg. Thanks for helping. Wait, who's the demon again? What are they? What's the demons are, they're they're, arm, they're arm they're army. They're goons of, for uh, Matt Mar Martin Lee. Yeah, Negative Man. Mister Negative. Mister Negative. Sorry. Oh, Mister Negative. Yeah. I'm like, well, thanks for helping me. Who well, says you can? We'll ca call it even. You saved me a long time ago when I needed your help. And says, I'm sorry, I cannot remember that at all. I'm I'm really sorry. He says. Don't worry, I get it. You save a lot of people a lot every day. Hey, um, you got what did what, and I'm, what did what did I do? He said you got me to quit smoking. Hmm. He says okay. Well, I'll see you later. Uh, who are you again? What's your name? Kenneth. Kenneth. Good. And now we see the rest of it. A kid is. Uh, she said, that's lame. Like, what, what, what's so lame about Spider-Man swinging around the city? And says, Uncle, Uncle Kenneth, I thought if we were gonna ever see a superhero, it would be a cool one. Like Captain Marvel, or like Black Panther, or Iron Man. They save Why? the world every day. Why not Captain America, or Thor, or... She says a lot. She drops a lot of names. Well, well, isn't Captain Marvel kind of like a? He says he drops a lot of names. She says, says, one, right? and says those guys are cool. And the kid, the kid's like those guys are cool. They save the world every day. Says so those Spider Man. Every person you look at, they mean someone. They mean something to someone. They're someone's world. And says, uh, "Yep, he saves the world every single day." Every person out there means a world to somebody. And Spidey's out there risking his life for them. Their, their best friends. Their girlfriends. Their husbands. Their moms. And their uncles. And it shows all the baddies. And they, saw, and they show you Spider-Man saving a lot of people. People who matter to everyone. Mm -hmm. it says, and the kid says, their uncles? Exactly. Says, yeah, every day Spider-Man saves uncles everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world, every Spider-Man's always saving someone. Says, well, okay, I guess Spider-Man's not that bad. Come on, Uncle Uncle Ken. At least most of the uncles. <laughs> yeah, that's a joke in it. That's a joke. Oh in it. dang! Like you coming or what? Like his name. Uh, yeah, uncle I'll always Ken. be there for you. And that's the end of the book. I'll always be there. For you. I'll always be there for you. Oh. This is Dan that's, the last, that's the last. That's the last. And this is how Dan Slott ends everything on Spider Man. He's run on Spider Man at least. Writing up love. He writes a lot, a, a huge letter to the on the back of the book, which I love. I love this issue. I bought it when it came out. The day it came out, and I read it, and I read it, and I read it. And I haven't read it. And he cried. I just stopped cried. until then. And he cried. This is what this is what Dan Slott. This is what Spider Man means to Dan Slott. Shut up. <laughs> this, is what dance lot, this is what Spider Man means to Dan Slot, and this is what I feel how I connect with Dan Slot in a huge way. And this is the episode. If you want to see the rest of it, uh, it'll be out soon. Hopefully. It all, all depends on editing. It all depends on how much we t t take on editing. But this could be. This is Stories Delicious, everybody. If you want to keep going, just keep following. Following me, follow it, follow us. Follow him on Instagram. Comic book chatter. Me on Instagram on at YouTube. Blue J and watch the and watch the rest of the the show on comic book chatter on YouTube.
It's called the show's called Stories with Issues. The show's called Stories with Issues. The, the channel is Comic Book Channel. Yep. yep. All right. Sweet. Right. Signing out. Bye. Peace. 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 Bye. Ah, he's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs>